Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. This video is going to be about some good news. Now, once in a while you'll hear me do like a little good news nugget in one of my videos. I usually always will get my good news from goodnewsnetwork.org. I have their web page pulled up right now. I'm going to go over maybe a story or two and uh, hopefully it will brighten your day and uh, put a smile on your face and uh, give some hope to the world. Um, yeah, because there's so much bad news in the world. I don't watch news. I don't care about news. There's nothing I can do about the news. I don't care about it. What I do like, though, is good news. Okay? So we're going to look at a little bit over here. I am going to glance over at the screen and kind of read off of it and stuff. So don't be thrown off. I know I'm going to turn away for a second and read. So you will not see my beautiful face directly for a minute. Okay? But it's okay. We're going to get through this. The very first story that I'm going to read is when a woman's car fails, she can't afford to get a tow. So, four Canadian teens push her four miles, I suppose, to get her home. And that's not four teens, that's three teens pushed her four miles to get her home. So let's see. Three teenage boys pushed the term Good Samaritan into a whole new stratosphere with an amazing act of kindness last week. A little after midnight, Aaron McWillan Bailey... Campbell and Billy Tarbett were on their way to Tim Horton's coffee shop after a swim when they noticed steam billowing from under the hood of a car stopped along Highway 20 in Fonth Hill, Ontario. A lot of these names I'm probably screwing up, but it's going to be okay. The boys, all car enthusiasts, pulled over to lend a hand. After looking under the hood, they told the driver that it probably needed a new engine and advised against starting the motor. The woman was visibly upset. She couldn't afford a tow. That's when Billy suggests they push the car to the woman's home in Welland. We had nothing better to do, but even if we did, I wouldn't like to think we would have I would like to think that we would have helped her anyways, the fifteen year old boy said. The teens grabbed their water bottles and pushed the Chevy Cobalt up a hill and continued for more than two hours along the dark Merrittville Highway laughing, joking, and appreciating the great workout. That's all I'm gonna get into on that one. Uh, that's a very good little story. Very nice. It's good to see teens, especially, but really anyone, thinking about someone other than themselves and doing such a fantastic good deed. Thank you very much for your good work. It's appreciated. On to the next story. Let's see what we can come up with, guys. Let's see if I can put a little smile on your face. Found one. Our next good, wonderful story that's going to warm your heart and take your mind off of all the craziness. This story is Lemonade from a kind 10-year-old soothes sad neighbors after a house fire. That sounds good to me. Let's see what we got. 
A family who lost everything in a house blaze has been humbled by their 10-year-old neighbor who raised a surprising amount of money on their behalf by serving homemade lemonade. Now, I'll tell you what. I'd buy some lemonade because I like some lemonade. Good stuff. Kaylee Cross, 10 years old, was devastated when she saw flames destroy the home of Brooke and Josh Rummins while they raced to safety with their young sons. The fire, which started in bins outside their Fresno home, destroyed all their possessions. Two days later, Kaylee sat across from the building's remains and sold 100 cups in return for donations, raising $1,000. People drove from far and wide to donate cash after hearing about dedicated California youth. The Romans are being helped by friends and family, but said Kaylee's thoughtful gesture touched them the most. I would hope so. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Uh, we know our neighbors really well, said Kaylee. I sat on the front step and watched the fire and wanted to help in some way. So that's all I'm going to read on that one. There is a little bit more to read, but you get the gist. Okay, I found a new good story to read. This one here involves a celebrity uh, of sorts. Uh, Jaden Smith celebrates his 21st birthday by deploying vegan food truck to hand out free meals to the homeless. Now that I can get behind. I'm not a fan of his. Really, uh, he's done nothing for me in Hollywood that makes me like him like I liked his dad. Um, he's more of the annoying person who's trying to annoy people. But this is good, and I'm going to read just a little bit of it. Jaden Smith is already famous for being a beloved musician really, and actor. But now he is doing even more to add to his growing reputation as a philanthropist. Earlier this week, the young celebrity celebrated his 21st birthday by giving away free vegan meals to homeless people on Skid Row. The giveaway was just the first of many pop-up events that will be hosted by Jaden by Jaden's new uh, I Love You Restaurant Vegan Food Truck. Um, so yeah. I think that's pretty nice. I think that's a good way for these celebrities to do their part. I do agree with this and I, I do think it's a good step on his part and uh, I'm proud of him for doing that and I hope his parents are proud as well. So let's see we'll do one more and then we'll call this video done. How about that? How about that? Alright, the last story that I'm going to cover today, some of you guys are going to like this. Guy dressed as Batman has rescued dozens of shelter pets. Not all heroes wear capes, but this guy has already saved dozens of dogs and cats from euthanasia. From death. Let's just say death. And he has done it all while dressed as Batman. 27-year-old Chris Van Dorm has always been a fan of the beloved caped crusader. So when he began volunteering for various animal rescue organizations around Orlando, Florida, he decided to combine his two passions and use a Batman suit to bring attention to the importance of pet adoption. It kind of just came as a way to embody all the good I wanted to do in the world, Van Dorn t 
told the dodo. I guess the dodo would be the whatever that he's talking to. That's strange. And uh, he, he also says, and to make it easy for people to talk to me right off the bat. Bat. Get it? Bat. Ah, that's good stuff. Not only has he used the suit as a conversation starter for why people should adopt shelter pets, he also has domed the suit to transport dozens of animals from the shelter to their loving forever homes. And that is all I will read on that. Uh, I think that's a very good news segment. I appreciate this website, goodnewsnetwork.org. Whenever I do check the website and I read maybe a story or two, it always makes me happy to see something good. I like good. I like good news. I like good people. I like good food. I like good times. I like good everything. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the short little news nuggets here. Uh, I hope you enjoy the variety that my channel brings. I'm not just going to be about cycling or walking or jogging or boating or hiking or all the other activities like that. I'm also about drawing. I'm also about coloring. I'm also about photography. I'm also about video games. I'm also about good news nuggets. I'm also about discussion and talking about things of interest and on topic and news and uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, I think it's good to have a well-rounded channel. Um, I think sticking to one thing makes you look boring and stale. No offense to anyone else that does it, uh, because I'm subscribed to a lot of channels that just do one thing. So, uh, but that's just not for me. I like keeping things interesting, and that's just kind of how my, how my channel is. I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, I do all this for fun. I do it to help myself. Uh, with depression, anxiety, um, I do it for free, no monetization, no ads, no nothing. I did just reach 100 subscribers, which is pretty good. I'm happy about that. I've been trying to get to 100 for a long time now. I have nearly, I have almost 300 videos on my channel and just now getting to 100 subscribers. I hope I get to a hundred thousand, I hope I get to a million, ten million, and you know what? It'll probably always be for free. Unless YouTube makes me monetize. Um, I want people to have fun with life, to enjoy things, to enjoy my channel, comment, all that good stuff. Take part. Alright? Guys, don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when using your left hand instead of your right. Get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. Well, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Deuces! Get out of here.